Hi guys, welcome back on my channel. VST here, Venice Peace Tech. Let me show you something, guys. You might recognize the game. This is the Genshin Impact on my Samsung Galaxy S21. All right, it is not running well. You can see I'm barely touching the 30 FPS. Just to show you guys the settings that I'm using. So if the menu allows me, when I go to the settings, guys, and I go to display graphics, all right, we can see that I'm running custom because I am actually running the highest one with the FPS set to 30, all right? So I'm indeed running the Genshin Impact on the highest settings. And of course this takes a toll on the phone, all right? But when I go back in the game, it is really, really not going well. And you know, it's actually quite sad because I'm again, not even touching the 30 FPS and I was actually doing quite well on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra with the Exynos 990. And we know that the Exynos 2100 is 30% faster than the Exynos 990. So why is this happening, guys? You see, I'm barely going to the 30 FPS, sometimes even going as low as like 10 FPS. So this is really unplayable. And you know, guys, I think I found a solution. It's not a new solution. And in fact, this solution didn't change anything on the Note 20 Ultra, right? But here it makes a difference. I'm even not going to restart the game, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how you can fix this one. All right. So guys, I have an application. I'm going to put the link down below that actually allows you to suspend some of the system application that our phones are using. In that case, you see, I just put here game as the filter and I'm just going to suspend the Adreno driver. I think that's quite understandable. Why? Because of course I have an Exynos phone, so I have a Mali GPU. I'm going to also suspend the game booster, the game launcher and the culprit here, which is the game optimizing service. And again, right, it's not something that I found out. It's actually a note fix, but this didn't really play any role on my Note 20 Ultra. See what happens here on my S21 when I put these guys. And again, I don't promise you 60 FPS, right? But just see, reconnecting to the server, right? Right? Just wait, wait. Okay. All right, you see? See the frame rate, guys? It's actually playable. Now I'm doing 30, 40 FPS, right? Again, I told you, I'm not going to promise you like everything and it's not going to be like 60 FPS, but you see that in combat mode, I am actually doing 30 FPS. So this is absolutely playable. It was not playable before, right? So let me just change here the modes, right? You see, 30 FPS, 40 FPS. What is going on here, Samsung? I'm not really sure, guys, right? Now, while I'm not in the game, you see, and again, I didn't really change any of the graphic settings. I even did not reboot the phone or restart the game, right? Sometimes again, sometimes not gonna be quite good, but in most of the cases, somehow the phone manages to recover. So again, the frame rate is not 100% stable, guys, but it's playable, right? It is playable. When I go and I drop some of the settings, it can actually become even better. So let's try to go here and choose the settings. Let's go into the graphics mode and let's just go now to highest, okay? Now go to highest. I'm gonna be putting 60 FPS. Let's see if this will make any differences. Sometimes you need to restart the game, all right? See? Oh my God. You see? It is definitely better, guys. 48, 50 FPS. I'm not really sure, but okay. The game optimization service, I'm not sure what Samsung is doing with this. It absolutely doesn't work, right? I tested this on my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. You can check the video here. Didn't do any difference, right? Specifically for the Genshin Impact. But since I bought the S21, I was expecting to get a bit more performance on the Genshin Impact. And I know that the game is perhaps not optimized yet for Samsung newest Exynos chip, but the game optimization service absolutely kills the performance. And guys, if you wanna play Genshin Impact, Again, I'm not promising 60 FPS, but if you want to play it like playable 45, 50 FPS, then guys, this is the only way. Check out the applications. There might be some other methods, right? So if you find another method to disable the game optimizing service, probably via ADB. I mean, you can do it even for free. And yeah, this, this actually works. So guys, I really hope that you enjoy this video. If that's the case, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for my channel. Yeah, guys, stay safe. VST, over and bye.